What's going on, guys? Just going to cover uh, cover a topic for you today. We're going to talk about breathing during uh, during metcons and um, how to uh, how to maximize that during uh, during CrossFit uh, CrossFit workouts. So you typically you watch uh, you watch somebody. Uh, you watch somebody during uh, during a CrossFit workout, and a lot of times you'll see uh, Rich Froning is a great example of this. Somebody that doesn't look like they're moving very fast, but they also um, but they they never seem to uh, get caught from behind. And a matter of fact, they always kind of seem to catch people on the back end uh, on the back end of workouts. Um, and the reason for that is uh, those people are usually always extremely efficient. Um, they replace, you know, just really, really high speed, like how fast they're doing the reps with how efficiently they're moving and how efficiently they're breathing. And a lot of that goes, uh, goes hand in hand. Um, and I, uh, I, I talked about this a little bit a few weeks ago when I did my video on aerobic training and why it's beneficial uh, in, a, in a Metcon setting whenever you're doing uh doing mixed uh mixed movements mixed modalities like uh instead of <clears throat> just you know whenever we go out to run everybody kind of gets into a rhythm breathing when they run you know it's because running is super uh it's a cyclical um it's a it's, it's a primal movement we just kind of know how to do it we know how to uh we know how to run and run faster and then breathing just kind of you just kind of settle into a pattern with it well you know, being able to, this can kind of piggyback off of some things that, uh, that Ben was talking about in, um, in his video a few minutes ago, talking about, uh, you know, how to have faster times and, uh, being able to get into a rhythm with your breathing on every movement is something that can be, that can be essential to your, uh, to getting, uh, to getting faster times and, um, being able to, uh, kind of take your fitness to the next level. So, that's some things that I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to talk about, you know, when we do, when we do workouts, um, especially like on Wednesdays where we kind of, whenever we're in class and we kind of pull back on the, uh, um, the complexity of the movement where we kind of go with simpler movements, that's a great opportunity to learn how to get into a rhythm with your breathing. Okay. So instead of, trying to learn how to breathe through a thruster a lot of times it's very beneficial to learn how to breathe through an air squat and um, generally a good rule to follow is that you always want to breathe in whenever you are uh, whenever you're under the least amount of resistance okay so let's think about like let's think about like a front squat for a second bars up on your shoulder and uh, once you're uh, when you're standing up, you're at a point where the body is opened up. You can breathe. At that point is where you can kind of breathe in and bring uh, bring in the oxygen. And as you go down, you're gonna hold and then blow that breath out as you stand up. You always want to breathe out on the on the concentric portion of the uh, of the movement, whatever it is, or whenever you are applying force. That's when you want to exhale another good way to think about it especially with a squat is uh, you think about like if you were going to duck your head under water taking in a deep breath at the top and then dropping down and then blowing out on the way up we also try to try to um, really reinforce that during strength work where we're not um, we're not really operating under high heart rates but you are getting into a uh, you are getting into that movement pattern, and at that point, you can practice that breathing also. So, kind of referring back to uh, to Froning, and um, what I was talking about there is uh, you go back and watch. It was I think 2014, 2013, either 13 or 14. It was the um, the open uh, open workout where they uh, where they did. Um, 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3 of thrusters and bar facing burpees. And uh, it was four people doing the open announcement. I think it was four or five. I think it was Froning, Kalipa, Graham Holmberg, Sam Briggs, and uh, Annie Thorstar. So five. So basically what happens is 
Workout starts. Fronin kind of comes out in the middle of the pack. He's not moving extremely fast. It's almost like he's. It's almost like he goes in without even trying to. Uh, without even trying to win. You know, he's kind of hanging back. And then meanwhile, uh, a couple others, Kalipa and uh, Sam Briggs, they just come out flying, and they're moving really fast through the thrusters. They're bouncing up and down on the uh, on the burpees. Breathing is really erratic and all over the place. And then you watch Froning. Uh, do his thrusters and his burpees, not only does every rep look the same, he is also so dialed in with his movement and matching his breathing with his movement that uh, it essentially, to him, it feels like he's running. It feels like he's going off on a, uh, on a run. He doesn't have to think about where to breathe because he's already got that dialed in. And you watch him on, the, uh, on those thrusters. He goes down. He breathes out, and at the top, he locks out, gets his head through, gets that big breath, brings the bar back down, and it's really, it's almost like he's exhaling all the way through the, uh, uh, all the way through the down and then the up portion, and then you watch his, uh, you watch his burpees, he's kind of down and up, and it's almost like he's taking three breaths, two to three breaths every time, so he pops up. Jumps over, he takes <sighs> down, up, breathing up and uh, two deep breaths every time he goes over the bar. And that's how he's able to really know uh, where he is on an intensity level. He's able to manage his pace that way. So whenever you get into, uh, whenever you get into workouts, you really want to try to focus that. A good, good uh, tip there is just kind of visualize. You know, try to, when you're, when you're going through the warm up, doing your burpees, try to figure out, you know, okay, do I feel like this is a more efficient point to breathe in, you know, while I'm standing up rather than when I'm hitting the ground, you know, and you try to make sure that you can stay in a rhythm with that. That way you just focus on pushing more than just, you know, trying to catch your breath all the time. It's kind of, it kind of works as a good governor for you to kind of let you know when I can push and when I can't because you haven't been holding your breath or breathing erratically and you're able to uh, you're able to have a little bit of kick there at the end because of that. So, those are my tips on uh, breathing during the uh, during the workout. One is practice. You know, as you're going through uh, warm ups, when you're doing strength work, whenever we do, um, whenever we do workouts that don't have very, uh, very complex movements like air squats instead of thrusters, to practice that there. Be really intentional about it. The other thing too is to think about. Um, Think about diving into water. You take a deep breath at the top, and as you go down, you blow out on the way up, okay? So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me a message if you need to, and we'll see you later.